Okay. Our next session, iron-based health supplement synthesis recharges cell and organism metabolism with potential antioxidative and anti-aging effects. <gasps> Take a deep breath on that. Um, if you have a phone, we'd ask you to just turn that to silent or vibrate mode, please. Uh, it'll just help keep everything a little bit easier here. And our speaker today, uh, Dr. Marina Dukanova, she's a cell biologist and immunologist with special interest in cell metabolism, immunity, and cell-cell interaction. She received her diploma in physiology in the Lomonosov Moscow State University and doctorate in biomedical sciences in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And Dr. Dukanova, I'm going to turn things over to you. Thank you so much for your kind introduction. Indeed, it's my great pleasure to introduce Synthesit here on, the, uh, on this stage, and I'm very fascinated to talk about its uh, particular purposes. So thanks again. Happy to be here and happy to see everyone here. Shall we start? Uh, so first, a bit of that introduction, but 30% of the world, world population suffer from anemia. And it's a very severe of conditions that uh, interact with your cognitive performance, with physical status and behavior. It can be dangerous for women, for men. Uh, it can uh, uh, restrict your immunity, resistant towards bacterial and viral infections. It can impact your muscle energetics, can impact your lifestyle, can also influence pregnancy and quality of children's life. So it's severe. And what is important is that chronic treatment is required during the whole life for the anemia patients. Okay, uh, so now of course we have a number of products that are available for counteract uh, anemia in different patients, different consumers. Those are dietary products or uh, intravenous based applications. So for dietary products, the major restriction is that intake cannot be sufficient enough. Uh, if you, uh, moreover, if you require the chronic applications, it means that it can lead to uh, problems with your digestive systems, since so risk of highly oxidative activity for iron. Uh, for drug supplementation, it's more or less the same, but uh, the intake is slightly better. For intravenous supplementation, it's very good if you need to really severe interfere your, uh, and increase your iron level. However, it's increased for your immune system, it's risk for your uh, blood um, homogenesis, homostasis, and uh, it's very, it can be toxic, it can be pro-inflammatory. So we don't, want to, we don't want that, obviously, for the chronic applications. Uh, so Synthesit is a unique bioactive iron. It's based on the uh, ferrum-3 citrate. Uh, it contains not hem, uh, raw materials of mineral origins. There are no plant or animal materials involved, only mineral. Uh, it, uh, it is um, a product of unique, bio, of unique synthesis, uh, which, is a, um, which requires different physical and chemical processes and leads to the development of uh, highly bioactive, highly biocompatible iron that we use in our product. Okay, uh, so first of all, I want to share what was the um, opinion of the people who intake Synthesit during the chronic applications. First of all, 95% of Synthesit consumers reported the benefits for their, health, uh, for their life quality. Uh, and if you imagine, this is like very promising. So what were the particular things that were noticed among the patients? So first of all, it's of course improved daily and physical activity, which was reported for 77% of the patients. Uh, and that means increase of uh, daily life quality, which is very good for the patients with anemia. It's really challenging to achieve this during long-term or short-term applications for other products. Next, uh, people reported the better sleep quality and higher cognitive skills. And for sleep quality, it's around 70% and around 30% had improved uh, cognitive skills during the synthesis intake. Uh, next, uh, people said that regenerative capacities were, were really improved. Uh, particularly around 90% told that skin regeneration was definitely better than previously to synthesis intake, and around 10% also reported about the improved bone regeneration. And that goes to both chronic diseases, like people with osteoporosis, for example, or people who are suffering from acute traumas, for example, or bone damages of other origins. So it's, bo it's goes both for age population and uh, young people as well. 
Okay. Um, another thing is that uh, the cardiovascular performance was greatly improved. And uh, it was not only cardiovascular system in, in terms of better cardiac activity and blood vessel supply, but also mercury circulation was improved, which was particularly interfering uh, and relevant to better cognitive skills, as you can imagine. Uh, finally, uh, synthesis uh, revealed an immunoregulatory potential, which means that uh, people of 60% uh, of those who, takes, who took synthesis uh, reported that uh, anti-inflammatory effects were present. That means like autoimmune conditions were re released in 50%, in 40%, uh, and also uh, immune system stimulation was reported in terms of better contraction of viral and bacterial infections, which is very relevant in this uh, hard time of COVID, I would say. <laughs> Though I don't want to mention it, but yes, it's definitely important. Uh, finally, I want to remind again that yeah, 95% 90, of people who take synthesis uh, really feel better after this intake. Uh, and it's much, it's much better than we can expect from the normal iron intake. Uh, what are the mechanisms that, are pos that can be behind it? Uh, so first of all, let me speak again a, a bit about iron metabolism. So iron is incorporated uh, into the, uh, predominantly into our uh, blood system, and it's found in the erythrocytes as a hemoglobin, or in our bloodstream as a ferrum-free irons, which is not good that, because it leads to pro-inflammatory risks, as I was saying previously. And uh, if we want to be successful with our iron intake, it's better to be incorporated into erythrocytes, it's better to be metabolized by our blood cells and further distributed to the iron-containing proteins in terms of their bioactive centers and better activity. And what I have to point out is that for our body, it matters which kind of iron we are taking. It's not like we take one iron and it's the same as we take another one. Uh, so here we are really... Um, lucky to find out probably one of the best known forms of iron that can be very actively taken by our organism, readily incorporated into the cells, into the proteins, and it, it really changes how your body is working. So let me explain in more details how it's going on. Okay, so of course the first question is safety, as I was saying. This goes for, the, for all the drugs, all the biocompetitive agents that we are using. So the com biocompatibility of synthesis is really very high. Uh, we can see that even if we use very high concentration in the cell system, there is no toxicity for human cells. Uh, second, we tested it in animal models and we really give high amounts when compared to patients to uh, primates and there is no toxicity reported even after three months of applications. And of course they survived for a longer time and we observed them, they were perfectly fine, which is promising. Okay, uh, so next thing is that no free iron accumulation occurs in the bloodstream of the patients, of the people who are taking synthesis. Uh, and what it means, it means that we are safe from inflammations that can develop in the blood, or we are safe from side effects when we are taking synthesis. Another thing is that uh, although synthesis was shown to stimulate immune system, it doesn't lead to activation of inflammatory responses because uh, when, you, um, when you use synthesis to treat uh, blood monocytes, which are the major inflammatory agents in our bloodstream, there is no uh, expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines. So for example, if you expect someone uh, who is already having inflammation and it, uh, he or she is taking iron, of course there is a risk that there will be even higher inflammation. Well, not in this case, okay? In this case, all the pro-inflammatory cytokines, which is IL-6, interleukin-6, interleukin-1 beta and chemokin CCL2, which you all know from COVID story nowadays, are reduced uh, when you use synthesis. Uh, vice versa, the arginase-1, which is a major regenerative uh, and anti-inflammatory cytokine is upregulated when you take synthesis. So this is a good sign for our, for our body. So, okay, now we know it's safe and it's anti-inflammatory. What's next? Uh, so the next thing we are looking at is hematopoietic system. Hematopoiesis is one of the important events that is involved in our uh, blood metabolism, in our immunity, uh, in our overall well-being. 
and daily life quality. And the major uh, cell populations that you can find in the blood are platelets, monocytes, red blood cells, and lymphocytes. And they are important for iron storage, immunity, and for general uh, nutrient and oxygen supply and throughout your whole body. Okay, uh, so when we take synthesis, basically we see activation of all the hemato hematopoietic pathways. So the number of all blood cells are increased uh, when you intake synthesis. Uh, I have to point out that this is not very common when you see it with the iron intake uh, in, in terms of general supplementation. Uh, usually, when you take iron, you only see your platelet level increased and your erythrocyte level increased because these are two major populations that are associated with the iron metabolism. Uh, however, here we also see that monocytes number and lymphocyte number are increased. And what it means for us is that uh, monocytes and lymphocytes are the major cell population involved in immune response which means that we have better immunity and better uh, defense against viral and bacterial infection when we intake synthesis. Moreover, uh, when the platelets, new platelets, are synthesized in presence of iron, we can say that uh, it has antithrombotic uh, and pro-regenerative potential, which is particularly good in this case. Uh, second thing is, of course, increase in red blood cell amount because you have more hemoglobin, you have more uh, iron in general, and that's uh, how it works, basically. So, I, again, I want to point out that all the uh, cell populations in the bloodstream are increased in their levels, and they, rec they are more tend to be pro-regenerative and protective for us when we use synthesis rather than ir other iron compounds. Okay. Another important thing that we were looking at is whether, this, whether our product can impact somehow aging. Uh, and the two major uh, enzymes that are involved in the aging processes are considered to be adenosine delaminase and xanthine oxidase. And these are also the markers of aging and the, muscle, the markers of oncogenic processes in our body that are increasing with age. And as you can see, indeed, the people who... Um, that we investigated persons of two groups from 40 to 69 and from uh, 59 and from those uh, who are 60 to 79 and we see that uh, uh, adenosine deaminase and xanthine oxidase are increasing with age. But also we see that, uh, that synthesis can decrease the levels of adenosine oxidase, as a, uh, xanthine oxidase and adenosine deaminase in our blood. Uh, so that means that it has anti-aging and pro-regenerative and protective potential. Uh, moreover, it can also be associated with a lower risk of cancer development in the people who take synthesis. Okay, uh, and uh, finally, synthesis is essential um, by supplements that can be used on daily for daily purposes, but also to restore your iron blood levels. Uh, it's suitable for um, anemia prevention, but also for increasing of uh, your regenerative uh, potentials, protection from viral and bacterial infections, protection from aging, and uh, it may also be a prospective therapeutics for, uh, for prevention of oncological disorders. Uh, well, finally, I want to thank all the research institutes that are uh, participating in our uh, investigation, in our research studies. Uh, and thank you for your attention. And you can also find me at the booth P307 for further questions, if you have some. Thank you so much. So your last slide showed a few different uh, what looked like delivery formats. So this can be used in multiple types of applications, both supplements and foods as well. Is that possible? Uh, in future, of course, yes. There are different supplementations. One is uh, capsule-based, another is liquid-based. And as you can imagine, both of them can be combined with different types of uh, products or different intake purposes depends on your request. For example, liquid form is adjusted uh, and incorporated into the cell metabolism much faster when compared with capsule ones. Uh, but a capsule one is maybe more suitable for chronic treatment purposes. Okay. Are there any uh, concerns or contraindications when you're looking at multi-ingredient formulations? Does it work really well with certain ingredients or does it have any uh, challenges? 
Well, there are some limitations that probably it's better to take uh, in the morning uh, before food intake because it's uh, really um, overlapping with lactate containing products uh, such as dairy, uh, dairy products, milk and so on. Uh, however, even if we are combined with different food types, uh, it still uh, has very substantial benefits. Were there any questions? I just looked cheery. All right. Well, thank you so much for some really wonderful information and certainly uh, can drive some product innovation. Thank you.